So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasant... then Chelsea against Manchester United. I'm Peter Drury and seated in the experts hot seat is our man Jim Begley. Hi everyone and thanks Peter it's great to be on board. <laughs> Who do you Jim see making the difference here? I think it's got to be Alexis Sanchez a sensation when he's in full flow uh, although he's played a, as a central striker I prefer him operating out wide where he enjoys more space and that enables him to generate greater momentum for a one-on-one. -on -one. And yeah, I think he's a huge threat. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him. Now it's Lukaku. Now the pass. Lingard looking to get on the end of this. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Rudiger. Looks like a good ball through. And now they can launch a counter. Promising cross. Moses pumps it upfield. William looking to penetrate opposition lines. Morata with the ball through. And the Herrera. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. It makes for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. Conte passes it through. Good defending, he knew he had to stop it right there. Spoon forward. Now it's Sanchez. It's a loose ball. And he's cut it out. Marcos Alonso pumps it forwards. And it's Alonso. Alonso whipped in. And back out it comes. Lukaku. Manchester United get it back again. Played out to the right. Ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. What a throw in. Looks to slip it through. Now it's Morata. Chance! He's gone for it! They've scored! A pretty simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Chelsea put themselves into the lead. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Worth a try, but not this time. Well, to strike a volley requires exactly the right balance, and I think that's what maybe let him down there, Peter. Moses. William. It's a long forward pass. Morata. Danger averted for now. Bally. So they got the only goal to make it 1 0. Looks to thread it through. Alexis Sanchez puts it into the middle. It was all about the quality of the delivery, and they come away with nothing. Deftly done. And he's there to cut it out. 
the first half is done. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Chelsea leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. Chelsea carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Away from immediate danger. And it's Azar. Lovely feet. Can he deliver? Cesc Fabregas. He's had a good look and given a corner. And the defence can get it clear. Conte. Rudiger. Lingard with good energy in defence as well. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. Ibrahimovic is leading the charge, but he's having to go it alone. And that would have been some goal. Well, he tried to go it alone, and he wasn't too far away from pulling it off either. Everything was there apart from the finish. Manchester United uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Raspilicueta. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, it's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. William. Big chance here! Oh, surely that deserved better. I think there's always that danger that the defence can get exploited in that way. That must have served as a real wake-up call to them. He's got away with one there. Well, I think you can only praise that sort of alertness and the way he almost knew what was going to happen. And he got there really early, that was top stuff for me. Well defended. Well, there's no way I'm accusing him of being selfish, Peter. He had no support. Alexis Sanchez. Back to the keeper and go again. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. There's going to be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. Are, he's being picked on here. Yeah, Peter, and it looks like this defence will go tooth and nail to prevent him from, uh, from getting another. Cesc Fabregas with the cross. That is special! Olivier Giroud! Two up and threatening to pull clear! And however many surrounded him, that is what he can do. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a eel the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been, go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Chelsea have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Cesc Fabregas. Rudiger. Marcos Alonso. Thrust towards the front line. Tries a through ball. Defence has got rid of that. 
And it's Conte. It's a promising run he's making on the right. Great leap! And more, and more, and more! And surely that settles it! Chelsea are certainly a team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki Taka at its very best and they back it up with goals. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. And time is up. Chelsea comfortable winners, a virtuoso display, utterly one-sided. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? What I most admire about this outfit is the cohesion and the willingness to work hard as a unit and getting behind the ball. Doing the ugly stuff, that's what gets you clean sheets and wins. Well, thanks to Jim alongside me, and as the fans make their way home, so must we. Good evening to you. you can't say